Hi, I'm Nick Charpentier, a solutions engineer with Great Bay Software. Today I'll be providing a brief overview of the Beacon Solutions user interface. We'll begin with a grayed out view of the web-based user interface. First off, you'll notice the navigation panel. This will allow you to get to the home dashboard. The configuration tab allows you to configure the Beacon system, add your network infrastructure devices, and configure custom profiles and groups. Next, you'll see the Endpoint Console, which allows you to view all the devices currently active on your network, what profiles they live in, and drill into each one individually to see specific information that we've learned about those devices. Following that is the Utilities tab, which allows you to view specific profile data, run reports, do system maintenance and backups, and so on. Lastly, we have the Sponsorship tab. This is used for the onboarding process when sponsoring access to the network when the Beacon Solution is deployed as a network access control system. On the top right, you see the simple search bar. This will allow you to enter any information that we have learned about any devices on your network and search for them very quickly and locate them. And then with a simple click, you can get into that device and view all the information that we've built that profile on. On the top left here, you see the endpoint directory. Now this is just a high level graphical view of all of the endpoints currently active on your network, which in this example shows around 3,000, and the top 25% of the profiles that make up that number. So out of those 3,000, 25% of them fall on the profiles here, which this example is tailored to the financial vertical. So you see things such as Pelco Spectra cameras, the banker laptops, ATMs, and badge readers, and so on. In the middle here, we'll see the total number of MAC addresses discovered, the number of active MAC addresses, and the difference between the two would be the retired MAC addresses. So by default, the Beacon solution will retain all data learned about all endpoints over you know, any given period of time. So this is a user-definable value that can be adjusted based on whatever your specific needs are from a compliance standpoint or just what you choose to record over so long. So if you want to have data retained for three weeks or three months or three years, it's a user-definable value that you can set. On the right, we see the system status. This gives you a high-level view of the overall uh, server and collector health if we're able to actively uh, pull Active Directory and DNS and if the Radius authentication server is up and running. If there's any errors, such as DNS, it'll be shown here. Across the bottom is a graphical depiction of recent events. So this will show you over the last hour, four hours, all the way up to 48 hours, what exactly has occurred on your network. So the green line is going to show new endpoints attaching to the network, and the red line will show alerts or alarms. Finally, if we clear up the whole view, you see a very sleek and clean, a very modern, easy to use, easy to understand user interface that shows you what is currently on your network, how many active endpoints you have, what profiles they live in, and gives you that high level view of everything that's currently going on in your network. With just a few simple clicks, you can drill down and see uh, deeper information that we've learned about all devices, view authentication statistics, and run reports on any of the information that we've learned about devices. So that completes the high level overview of the Beacon user interface, and thank you for your time.